So we took Lenny out to go work on this Prevo that was having a charging issue. Uh, as we went through it, we thought maybe it was the alternator, but it checked out. We sent the alternator in to have it tested. The guy, it, it tested fine, except it sounded like a freight train. The bearings were so bad in it. So we went ahead and replaced the alternator, just precautionary, because so it wasn't gonna last long. Put all new belts on it and everything, but that wasn't what the charging issue was. Uh, so as we got into it, it ended up being the Vanner equalizer. So the device that charges all of the, the 24 volt charger charges the batteries. Uh, the alternator charges the batteries at 24 volts, but the computer and some other stuff on the bus run off a 12 volt, which is tapped in between, halfway in between, you know, the full bank of the 24 volt. So when we put the, uh, the batteries were equalized, and then we ran it and put the alternator on it. One battery was getting like 14.1, 14.2 volts. Uh, so it's obviously charging. And the other one was only getting like 12.8. Uh, and that's basically what it was sitting at was 12.8 before we even turned the alternator or started the bus and put the alternator to charge. So half of the batteries weren't really getting charged correctly because the Vanner equalizer wasn't keeping them balanced. It was letting one set of batteries get more of a charge than the other across the 24 volt. Uh, so this, this device here, the little light wasn't on it, which I don't see that light on a lot, uh, and they still work sometimes. So um, this, this is what the problem was, is this thing here, it, it keeps that, that one bank of batteries that's getting half of the voltage taken out of it, uh, it keeps it equalized. Uh, so, we had, so we ordered a new one here. Uh, they certainly aren't cheap. It was like $700 plus the freight. We, had it, we overnighted it because the bands, this is a band bus, they're getting ready to go on a tour. They got like you know 4,000 miles they're gonna be driving. Uh, we need to make sure it was charging. So uh, we got that on here and we'll take a look at this here and, and, and run it and, uh, and see how it goes from here. But th this will definitely solve the problem. So once we get this off of here, uh, we'll get the new one mounted and go from there. And the 12 volt wire right now, the middle one is the ground and the one all the way behind the side is the 24 volt. And when we hook the batteries back up, we'll go in the reverse order that we disconnected everything. So power for uh, positive first, and then the 12 volt in between, and then the ground.
the DVAC up to it, and the only code, there was no active codes, and the only historic code in there was for low battery voltage, which is what we suspected, so it should be good with everything. I noticed some little fluctuations in the idle at high idle, uh, so I suspected maybe we had a dirty fuel filter. We went ahead and pulled it and changed it. It really was dirty. All right, so he's taken an about a 100, 100 mile test drive, uh, a couple trips back and forth. He's come out to our shop and we're gonna check everything out again. But because they're getting ready to leave on such a long trip, we didn't want to uh, risk there being any other issues with it. But uh, we're gonna check it out here. So the goal is this, when things equalize that the batteries are within 0.2 to 0.3 volts maximum difference between them. So uh, we're, we're hanging out right around 0.3, but we wanna you know, see if we can get closer to 0.2. Set. I'm going to play with some audio here to see if I can try to capture the true sound of Lenny's engines with some different microphone placements back by the engine. So let's see how this works out. in the exhaust stream so let's try it over here on the mud flap We'll try it a little further away here, but uh, might have to get a different kind of microphone.
fun test. Uh, remember this weekend Oz is coming. He's going to start working on getting re Lenny ready for paint. So within a week he should be painted. So that'll be fun. We'll have a video coming out with all the body work and stuff. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. If they can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buzz Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. 